Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading from the 19th to the 25th of July. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So, Aquarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Aquarius, is the Three of Swords. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Fool in Reverse. Okay. All right, so your challenge, Aquarius, is the Three of Swords. Three of Swords, I'm really getting that a lot of you are still hurt over something. You're not completely healed from this situation. There's definitely something here that has bothered you. And... Um, a lot of you want to move past this, but there's something that may be hindering you from doing that. So we're going to clarify the three of swords in a moment, and we're going to see what that means for you. In the recent past, we have the four of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, and the strength. It was very difficult in the past to hold on to something here um, that you were very much connected to. Some of you were dealing with the Leo in the past, maybe an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus here. Someone here was having a very hard time letting this go. Very hard time. Okay. In the past, we're going to clarify this and see in a moment. In the present moment, you have the six of swords, the page of pentacles and the star. Someone here has big dreams, Aquarius, and I'm really getting that that may be you with the star here. You have some sort of expectation. There's definitely a lot of healing that's happening. But what I'm getting in the present moment specifically is, is that some of you are dealing with maybe another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. This person's really coming in and helping you with this, okay? There's someone here who genuinely, like they may seem in the present moment that they don't have much to offer, but I feel like this person's genuine. You know, they want Want to help you heal but some of you are afraid of that and this is why you often disconnect from this person now in the near future you have the ten of cups you have the five of swords and you have the five of wands someone here is fighting for what it is that they truly want with you and I'm really getting someone here is really determined to have this with you the ten of cups the happiness the happy relationship family home like coming together here Okay, so we're going to see what this means for you when we clarify. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool here in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Temperance in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, uh, what you don't see coming is the fact that a lot of you may have felt at some point, or maybe somebody that you were dealing with felt at some point that an opportunity to have a new beginning wasn't possible here. Okay. So someone here may have thought, oh yeah, we're going to have a new beginning, you know, lots of forgiveness, uh, but the opportunity just didn't happen. The opportunity to have this new beginning seemed like it was going to happen very quickly, but it may just have not ha happened for you. Okay. So a lot of you may be at this point where you may be asking yourself, well, why didn't that happen? What's stopping it from happening? I want it to happen, but there must be a reason why it's not happening. Okay. So we're going to find out what this means when we do some clarify, uh, clarification, uh, moving forward. Okay. So this is what you don't see coming. So let's get into your reading. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the Three of Swords. All right, so your challenge, which is the Three of Swords, is clarified by the Three of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Wands. 
okay so i'm really strongly getting here as your challenge aquarius it's the fact that a lot of you still have feelings for someone here okay there's someone here that you still have feelings for this could have been someone who hurt you this could have been someone that you were very much on and off with but there is some sort of energy here where it's difficult for you to be in this painful place but you often think about this person with the high priestess here you and this person may not even talk but there's still something here that keeps you and this person connected Okay, with the three of cups here. So there's a desire to maybe um, come back together with someone here that you haven't completely healed things with. For others of you, you just can't seem to get this person off your mind. There's a very strong energy here and this is the challenge. And not only am I looking at the cards, I'm picking this up intuitively um, by this combination. Okay, so this may be your challenge. And it's interesting because these cards just flew out. You have the three of swords in reverse. So a lot of you don't wanna be in this, this place of pain. That's your challenge, right? It's like it hurts, but I don't want to be in this in this place. All right. So this is what I'm seeing here um, as your challenge. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles in the recent past. Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Wands, the Sun, and the Two of Swords. Someone here in the past became very closed off. I don't feel like this was you. I feel like you were dealing with someone here who... Um, the energy between you and this person became very touchy. It was like very... It would flow, but it wouldn't flow nicely is what I'm getting here. There was a lot of resistance with the two of swords. But during this resistance that happened between you and this person, Aquarius, a lot of you started to come to terms with reality with the sun here. Okay, because the sun always illuminates everything. So even though this was happening, this person was still holding on to you. They were still holding on to the situation in general. Let's clarify the four of pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. There's something here about someone needing to make a decision in the past about whether or not they wanted to still have this with you. I feel like there was a lot of confusion in the past with this person, but regardless of what happened, they were still holding on to this situation. They were still trying to keep it together, having the strength to keep this together. Even though someone here was distracted, it could have been you, maybe your person. Someone here was distracted, but they still held on to this in the past. All right. So this is what I'm seeing in the past. Now in the present moment, Let's clarify the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is clarified by the Death, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of you are focused on some sort of job or some sort of um, goal that you have here. There's something about you really... It's like you're determined to do something here. You're determined to move away from some sort of situation because you have some sort of goal here, okay? The person in the present moment a lot of you are dealing with is someone that you don't know if they can really give you what you need, okay? Because your idea of healing, your idea of fulfillment, Aquarius, is great. The star is a very big energy. The star is like go big or go home type of energy. So a lot of you right now may be deciding to sacrifice something here with the death card and the six of swords in order to get what it is that you want. So tell me more about the page of pentacles in the present moment. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with someone here in the present moment. And we're going to see what the message here is about this person. So the Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Devil, the Nine of Cups, and you have the Page of Wands. Okay. So yeah, this is someone here that wants to definitely have a new beginning with you. This could have been someone that has 
communicated with you here. The issue that I'm seeing in the present moment is a lot of you don't know if this is someone who can really bring you what you need. Again, nine of cups, that's a card of fulfillment and it's beside the devil. So I'm really just getting that you're not 100% sure about someone or something in the present moment. And you have a vision with the star card here. There's something here about you having some sort of vision. Tell me more about the star. Very important message for you, Aquarius, in the present moment. What is the star all about? So the star is clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Five of Cups, and you have the Eight of Swords. Okay. So yeah, it's like you want a new beginning here. You want to be released from something here. But I think the other thing that you need to also keep in mind, Aquarius, is, is that a lot of you may not be seeing something for what it truly is. You may have an idea of what it is that you want, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you're going to have or what you're going to get because some of you may be missing out on something here, okay? Like you want something, you want to heal, you want to be released, you want to have a new beginning, but a lot of you are focusing on something here that didn't work out. So there may be something here that you need to leave behind in order to get to this place of completion, this place of fulfillment with the Ten of Pentacles. Because this is something that I see you want. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. Let's talk about the near future. So let's clarify. We're going to clarify the Ten of Cups and we're going to see what that means for you. But first, I want to clarify the Five of Wands. There's definitely some sort of conflict here. What's this about? So the Five of Wands is clarified by the Six of Pentacles. You have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So yeah, it looks like a lot of you are going to be fighting to still, you know, it looks like someone here is going to be fighting for your attention. Okay. I see this person, again, the same person that you were dealing with in the past here. Earth, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus here. There's something here about this person fighting for your attention. I see them giving something to you. Uh, there's also something here about you fighting for this as well, too. So it's like you both want this. You both want to be in a connection here. You both want something long term. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. There's some sort of expectation that you have here, Aquarius, okay? Uh, very high expectation here when it comes to water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Leo here. Same message here. There's somebody here that you are in love with, but it, there's something about you not seeing the value in this person and how they can be a part of this dream that you have. You have a dream. But your dream is, it's a very specific dream. It's a very specific expectation that you have. And I think what you're learning here, um, Aquarius, is that it's never going to happen for you if you have all these expectations. Nothing is 100%, even though it may seem like that. I feel like in the end, you're going to get what you want, okay, whatever that is, which is the Ten of Cups. But there's a message here about this fulfillment that you're seeking, there's a message here about this thing that you desire that you really want. So tell me more about the Ten of Cups in the near future. So the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Fool. You have the Judgment and you have the Magician. Okay. You're going to have what you want. Magician and Judgment. You're coming to some sort of realization in the near future that the, begin the new beginning can happen for you. But you have to be willing to look at the situation from a different perspective instead of focusing on all the things that can go wrong, especially if in the past, Aquarius, you were betrayed or hurt by someone and you never completely healed. There's a need for you to do that first before you can actually change your energy and manifest what it is that you truly want, which is what um, the Ten of Cups is all about. Okay, so there's something here about you wanting a new beginning. I see it happening, but there's something you have to release. All right, so let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? 
So the advice here for you is the nine of cups. You have the three of wands and you have the seven of wands. There's something here about you really knowing when to act a certain way in certain situations. There's going to be some situations where, you know, you really have to defend your energy, take some time out for yourself. There's something here about you needing to wait for something, fulfillment, happiness. And the reason why this may be happening, Aquarius, is because a lot of you need to still go through that healing process that you've been avoiding. There's something here about you really going within, doing that work so that you can look at a situation from a different perspective because, you know, what it is that you want now is kind of already in your life, but it's not going to move to the next stage until you realize what needs to happen within yourself first in order for that situation to transpire. OK, so this is what I'm seeing a little bit of a complex reading. I highly recommend that you watch it again so you can get some more hidden messages inside of it. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.